Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River. As you can see, we are here at our cornfield and uh, we're going to start raking up some corn stalks and uh, get this job done. Now, this is going to be a little trickier to do than the uh, soybeans were, but we're going to manage. This one definitely will be a little more interesting to do. Because we can pick up a little more than one windrow. Or one combine pass, I should say. So, I uh, am not too sure how much longer the videos are going to be coming out. Um, let's see, this here is Wednesday's video. Uh, so, here this weekend, uh, we might go out and try combining. So, if things will go, which looks pretty promising um, then I will be hitting busy season for a while so videos will probably stop for a little while um, they might pick back up at some point well not might they will pick up at some point again but uh, I can't for sure say when that's going to be. Um, I do plan to try and get a GoPro here at some point. So I would like to do that and then uh, try and get you guys some real farming videos. But uh, again, I can't make any promises. Of when that's going to happen or anything like that. So we uh, will just kind of have to see. My knowledge of how things is going to go is not really any better than uh, anyone else's. So at this point, it's just a uh, big old waiting game.
This is going to be another thing that we uh, skip bits in, and it's not even going to phase me. We're just going to leave it. Otherwise, uh, we'll be here forever at that rate. We uh, tried to worry about getting every last little bit. We'll obviously do the best that we can, but we're not shooting, perf shooting for perfect here. I thought the soybean windrows were big, goodness. Definitely not straight uh, rows by any means, but we're going to do it anyways. Something's better than nothing here. I do like though this the ability to do this um, thanks to Thunder FS. Um, it is really cool to be able to make soy you know straw out of pretty much anything, um, even sunflowers do it. I'm assuming we could do it with canola, but we're probably not going to. Um, some crops we'll do it with, others we won't. Like sunflowers, I mean, that one, you don't really hear of anybody making sunflower stock bales in uh, real life, so. Probably not going to worry too much about that. But corn we definitely will um, the only downside is that the game just registers it as normal straw it won't actually like once we go to start baling uh, it won't actually read it as corn stalks or you know things like that which is fine that doesn't really matter straw is straw in the game basically I mean, it all serves the same purpose, so. That part doesn't really matter. one more pass and then on to the cleanup let's see I think we'll start in this corner we'll be all right to do that
I know for this fall I'm definitely hoping it's a good harvest and we definitely got a lot of it to do um, I think we've got let's see here we got about 1500 acres of uh, spring wheat or of winter wheat I mean about 2500 acres of spring wheat that after we're done combining we'll have to seed into spring, winter wheat um, we gotta haul all of the wheat out before uh, we start seeding winter wheat and then I think we've got about uh, what is there there's like 3,000 some odd acres of soybeans like 1500 both of corn and sunflowers so there's going to be a lot of combining but it should be a good thing hopefully everything turns out good we have a good year I know we're all hoping for it so hopefully things work out in our favor I know uh, everything that's growing right now does look really really good um, in fact my boss even said that this winter wheat crop this year might uh, just might be one of the best ones he's ever had so from uh, the sounds of it now with us having five trucks uh, sounds like we're gonna have our two triple axle trailers uh, constantly running from the field to the elevator while the other three tandem trailers just go back and forth from field to bins so that's gonna be good to kinda help get some of it out right away and uh, sounds like I'm probably gonna be in one of those trucks going to the elevator But who knows? I could be going to the elevator, I could be in the grain cart, I could be going to the bins, I could end up throwing in a combine. Never know. It's kind of a mystery every day, really. So we're going to do this field the correct way. And we're going to go back and forth now. And then we'll rake the ends after the fact. Come on, auto save, go away. Yeah, we're going to have some bailing ahead of us, that's for sure. 
and some hauling of bales. I'm going to be making a few trips. But that will be very beneficial because we did get a pretty decent amount of money off of uh, bales when we sold our oats bales. So I think I think we'll make a decent amount of money and maybe we can uh, put that money towards looking into a conveyor for unloading the bins and for a truck and trailer to uh, assist with that. I do think a uh, smaller semi and trailer would be really helpful. And if we can find a truck and trailer for a decent, you know, not cheap, cheap, but reasonable, uh, we could also sell really all realistically all three of our grain trucks and uh, or even two of them and keep one in the semi or maybe we'll have to see if there's any upcoming auctions maybe somebody's got a couple trucks and trailers or maybe the dealership even has something coming in uh, we'll kind of have to We'll see. I'll put a bug in uh, our salesman's ear here and see what old Rob can find us. Maybe even another, a different dealership might have something laying around that uh, they want to get rid of, and we might uh, just might be the people, or just might be the guy to assist in that if the price is right and the truck and trailer is right so we don't we don't need a huge truck and trailer but just a even a single bottom hopper would be beneficial to us right now But we do have everything contracted for the month of January, so um, after we got done combining, I kind of went over all the books, and uh, I got on the phone with the Forest River Co-op here, and we have everything contracted, so... As soon as we hit January, we'll be ready for some hauling, so then it'll be the uh, hustle and bustle of that. Okay, I think we'll do one more here. Just a little short guy, and then uh, we'll be able to get the rest of that in our cleanup.
guess maybe we didn't need to do that last row there. That's okay though. These windrows are going to be impossible. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, we got one more to do and then We'll have this field wrapped up too. We might try a little bit different approach on uh, things on that last one there. Cause yeah, these end row, uh, they might be all right. We might be able to get by with it. We do have a pretty decently wide pickup on that baler, so it might work out okay. But we most certainly are going to have a lot of bales on our hands here. Get this folded up and off to the next one. Should take a quick peek here. What do we got for fuel? We might need to run. Well, I guess we could pull out of our service tank as well. It's definitely something that uh, is on the list of things that we need is a fuel tank back at the farm. We don't need anything huge, but it definitely. Uh, it's definitely a need. We need a fuel tank. And we're going to need the lights on for this. We're definitely getting ourselves one step closer to uh, that goal and dream of building a nice big fancy yard. And I do another thing I want to get into eventually is I would like to do get into some sugar beets because uh, that is kind of a big thing around the area that this map is based so eventually we will get into some sugar beets as well but uh, we're a little ways off from that yet so That's a monster right there. Goodness. 
Yeah, it's definitely going to be fun bailing. By the end of it, we might just be wishing that we had sourced a square baler. <laughs> Yeah, definitely some windrows sitting around here that we gotta clean up. We will for sure have to bring the uh, that crate of uh, net wrap over because I think we're gonna go through quite a bit of it to get this stuff bailed up so which is alright I mean we need to unload that oil anyways and get that off of our pickup oops I'm hitting the wrong button here um, so and we do have you know thinking of uh, for like truck and trailer we do have a few things that we can also sell I guess not really a few we have one other thing uh, and that's our seed wagon there because uh, come spring we are gonna get into the seed add-on so we're gonna buy seed for whatever crops we're gonna plant So we might actually, if we can afford it, we might actually look into a seed tender for the boxes. And I do have a few, or a couple different ones, so we might... Uh, look into getting one of them but already folks I think that's gonna do it for today uh, I'm gonna finish up this raking here off camera and then um, When we come back tomorrow, we will get all of this, well, get started on getting all of this bailed up and uh, see what we get. So, thanks everybody for tuning in today and uh, hope to catch you all in the next one.